Hello everyone. So welcome to this video. So recently I bought a new PC. If you care what it looked like, here it is. And I bought this new motherboard. It's the MSI Meg 7590. And I was having trouble connecting to Wi-Fi because I got this antenna that was inside the motherboard. And for some reason, it was not allowing me to connect to the internet. And at the time, I didn't have an Ethernet cord. So today, I will teach you how to do this because when I was looking at different YouTubes, it wasn't addressing the issue and it was becoming a reoccurring problem. So I will teach you how to do this. Note, this process will require access in the internet. So you either have to do this process by putting the file onto a USB hard drive or you must connect the PC to the internet using the ethernet cord. And then after using this process, you can transfer to the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, so first thing you have to do is go to a new tab, of course. I go to Microsoft Edge because of that whole incident with Google and I just don't trust them anymore. <laughs> don't aim me. All right, so then I go to MSI May 7590 drivers. Then I will go to the one that's mine. So mine is the same 590 Unified Gaming Motherboard. After I click that, I will go to Driver. Then you have to enter it your operating system. So mine's a Windows 10 64. So I want that. So then I go to LAN drivers. And then you want this Intel Wi Fi driver. So then I click download. So remember, if you are doing this process through the USB hard drive, you put this into USB hard drive and plug into your actual computer. Or if you're using through the LAN cable and then you, um, you're just trying to activate it. All right. So I went to WT, click on UWD, Win64, installer. Then I hit wireless setup.exe. Then I just hit run. Then it's going to tell you to uh, set up your Wi-Fi software. So mine says repair because I already have it in my system. So they're saying that you want to replace and repair. For you, it will just be hitting the install. So then say, do you want to change the app? Of course, you say yes, because you want to allow them to make changes to the Wi-Fi driver. So it's going to hit, it's going to say it's installation completed. And then you just click finish. And then you should be able to use the internet. And that is what I did. If you need any help or if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments and hopefully I can answer them. Talk to you soon.